Hello there everyone and welcome back for another map mod review. Today I have a really nice map to review for you guys. This is called the Sherwood Park Farm version 1.0 by Stevie. The file size is 787 megabytes and it's a fairly big map and he provides mods that are in the download so that's why the file size is so big. There's a few things I want to go over here first before we get started. First off, when you download the file, there's going to be multiple mods inside. You're going to need them all. Plus, there's going to be a tutorial file. I recommend that you open that up and give it a short read because it'll tell you everything you need to know about this map. And he recommends two mods that will go along with this map that you'll have to download. Now, I will put the links down below, but I still advise you to uh, give this a quick read if you're not familiar with Stevie's maps and the two mods that he's going to recommend that you download are made by the same modder farmer Andy and one of them is the Cotape tanker pack which will carry any liquid in the game and the second is an animal transport for your fattened animals so you can put them inside and sell them transport them where they need to be sold now I'm going to go over a few things that this map does pro provide there's 29 shape fields and one free grass meadow Damage mod, soil mod, multi-fruit, chopped straw, and dirt terrain mod is provided. Huge riverside forested area, so there's lots of forestry to take advantage of. And two empty fenced areas for placeable mods. Now, when we take a little look around this map, you'll notice there's two fenced-in areas that have nothing in it. That's for your placeable mods. Also provided is two farms in fields for beginners to demanding single player and multiplayer fields built-in custom mods by some of the best mod makers around auto combine and course play tested advanced course play knowledge recommended english multi or sorry english mini tutorial included that's the one i was just telling you about also included in this map is the 100 coin challenge the job board is available and there's demands in this game and much much more tested on online servers by Pumaplow. now is there anything else here I should go over no that's about it so we're gonna start off I'm going to show you what fruit types you are, prov are provided for you on this map there's all kinds of fattened animals as well and then we're gonna take a tour of the map and I'm gonna take you over the garage to show you your starting fleet to show you the gear you're gonna be starting with so let's do that right now go over to the fruit types so basically everything's the same up to sugar beets and added is well chaff as well mixed total mix ration wood chips seeds stained beet pulp compost tomatoes that's a greenhouse item as well as lettuce red cabbage and cauliflower and pumpkins that's new they're all greenhouse items homogenized milk, washed potatoes, steamed potatoes, pig forage all kinds of stuff oats, sour gum, soybeans, rye, dry grains so there's actually a plant in here that you take your grain to and they will dry it for you so I never done that before that sounds interesting flour, soda, pallets cargo box and here's all your fattened animals pig, beef, fattened cow, sheep fattened chicken, fattened goose, and silage. So there's all kinds of stuff here that you can work on. Lots and lots of products. Now come over to your garage with me and I'll show you your starting fleet. Garage. Now on Stevie's maps he usually provides a pretty uh, generous load of vehicles to start off with. If you don't like that just sell them. You know like he provides you with everything you'll need to start that's for sure so let's go over this we got one case Puma we have a Dutz fire we have the biggest case tractor there is a harvester with a large header I didn't mean to click that we have a corn header we have a pretty big tipper we have a cultivator a cultivator cedar Oh wow, two cedars. Okay, this is a huge cedar. This is a cedar as well, but this plants corn and potatoes, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, loading wagon, a wind rower, a fertilizer tank, slurry tank, a regular vehicle. 
Now this is two big mods he includes. The buffalo, well not mods, but uh, this is good to start with because you can get right into forestry. So you're provided with a buffalo and a scorpion king. So very, very cool. A couple more, no, just one more thing. And a wind turbine. Now this will make you money every hour. It actually makes you $2,000 an hour. So it's nice to start with that because it'll help with the maintenance costs of all these vehicles. Now, let's take a look at the map. I'm just going to run over here for a sec. I want to get up against something dark so you can see this a little better. So there's your map there. 29 fields. As you can tell, 4 and 5 are huge. And they're not really square fields. So you're going to have to be pretty good with the course play to be able to plan that out. I don't know too much about it myself. But I'm thinking about doing a let's play on this map. I really like it. I did a quick run around before I started recording this video and I like what I see. So you can see where I'm starting there. You can see me flashing. So we'll take a, real, a look around at this part first. Now right in front of me you have two seed masters, 2016s. And if you're not familiar with these, these make seed but you have to put in them some grain and some fertilizer and that'll make seed for you. And we have two of them so that's really cool to have close by. We have a uh, is that a pumpkin greenhouse? We have pumpkins and tomatoes in there. Very cool. Got some vehicle storage around. Now, you'll, if you're familiar with Stevie's Maps too, he always has nice little bunkers here to keep your product. And you got nice digital displays. And everything's in English too. And it's all conveyor through the back. So you don't have to scoop that stuff up. As well as this side. Up ahead... We have a forage machine. This is a new one. I haven't seen this. Well, I haven't used this one before. I've seen it on one other map. Uh, this is a mix master forage maker. You put silage, grass, and straw in there, and it makes mixed ration for your animals. You can sell straw here and bales. Get some more vehicle storage here. All kinds of vehicle storage there. We have a silage bunker. as well as some storage tanks. They're all color coordinated, being seed, water, fertilizer, and diesel fuel. And there's one thing over here I missed. This is for your grains. This is grain storage here. And what you're gonna do is drive through the middle to drop it off. And we have everything listed there with digital displays. Everything's in English, very nice. So this is your first farm. Now I'm just wondering what way to go first. Oh, also, it being damaged mod in here, you can fix your vehicles right on the farm. I really like that. So there's three spots there to fix your vehicles as well. So we will actually cut right over to this side. Okay, I'm gonna press six, let's go a little quicker. So we have some egg sales here, this little tavern or restaurant. You can also sell pallets. I don't know what pallets. Could take soda or eggs. You have to find out once you play at Robin Hood. That's funny. I like that. Okay, and just south of here, it looks like we have some sh the sheep zone. Here's your wool sheeps that make you wool. And in here is where your pallets of wool are going to uh, appear. Now, if you're not familiar with these, this process, basically, they fill up pallets full of wool as they're being made. And when the next pallet comes out, it'll push the first one ahead. And then so on and so forth until you hit this marker here. And once it goes into that yellow space, they'll be sold automatically. So keep that in mind. And remember, if you have an accident or you clutter this thing up, it'll stop until you pick everything up and make it clear again. So, all right. Let's go visit the chicken and the goose. Chicken and geese, right down here. There's the little houses, there's two of them there. One, two. Sorry it's jumping around so much, guys. It's just a lot to cover. Here's your milking zone for your dairy cattle. Also have another silage bunker around here. No, that's just the one that was over there. Some more vehicle storage. 
little bridge going across there. Oh, that's cool. I like the little water mill there. Never noticed that my first time looking through. So that's that. Let's go over to the beef. No, that's just below me there. Okay. Here's the grain dryer coming up. This is where you bring grain to be dried. There's a drop off right there and there. And there's where you can pick up your dry grain from the pipe sticking out the side. And you have a selling point for logs. Now, if you're familiar with the trains, you actually sell them. And then once you get so many in there, you can pull that trigger. And about 30 seconds later, you'll get more money. You'll hear a little ding. So this is another one of those, what I was talking about, the fenced-in areas that don't have anything in them. This is a good spot to put your placeables. So let's go next door and visit the dealership. Now here's where you buy... Oh, oh no matter. You can just start at me right there. So yeah, this is where you're going to buy and sell your vehicles. As well, I think there's a garden center right around here. Yeah, there's the garden center right here, guys. So you can pick up seed and fertilizer here, and you can also sell compost. And I do believe you can sell manure here too, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100% with that one, but I'm pretty sure. What's this here? We've got a little lumber mill here. You can sell more lumber. I'm not sure what these make. Let's take a look. Cargo boxes. Okay, you can make car. I've never seen that before. You can make cargo boxes there. You just drop off the lumber. Same with the wool. There's the production line. It's going to come down here, but there's no selling point at the end. So I don't know if you sell the cargo boxes or you bring the car cargo boxes over to here. Let's check this one. Fuel logs, wood chips. No, that's just your basic plant there. And you're going to want to put wood chips in there to fuel it. I don't know if these have water tanks on them or not. No. So anyway, that's that. Now, is there anything else down here I miss? Because I don't want to jump over anything. Let's go back. Go geese and chicken. Yeah, we already seen that. Okay, let's take a look at the pigs because I kind of passed that. Little pig zone down here. If you've never seen them before, check out these hogs. Hey, buddy. Another guy over here chilling in the little shelter. So, onward. Let's go up over here. Now, is this another place where you can... Okay, this is a potential customer. You can drop off pallets of product here. I already said that. They, can, they might take soda and eggs or something. Not too sure, but you'll find out. So yeah, basically we went over everything here. So let's keep going up into the corner. <laughs> Look at the outhouses down there. It's another little area. I don't know if th that might be the meadow that you can... Uh, you can definitely mow in there for free. Okay, we're coming up on the supermarket and the gas station. Right down there, you can sell pallets. All the orange marked ones where, where you can sell pallets and stuff. And this is pretty cool. I've never seen this on any map before. It's actually an indoor pool. You can go right inside too. This this place takes pallets as well. Open. So you can walk those stairs. Oh, I'm stuck, am I? Look at this, I'm stuck. Because of that damn mod I have in there. Okay, there we go. Yep. So yeah, you can go right up to the top. Oh, look, a coin. Give me that. Not like I need it. But yeah, I might do a let's play on this. I really like this map. Okay, let's get out of here. Let these people go swimming. While we go continue on our way. Now, let's go up. So yeah, there's a bunch of nice little fields over here. Look at all the trees, guys. Nice little roadways down these little peninsulas sticking out there you can take advantage of. Look, these are all nice fields nice fields for beginners because they're pretty straightforward they're all kind of hedged in there's little gates to get in there check out these gates too watch how fast they open that's really quick the other ones used to uh the map i'm doing now the ringwoods don't open that quick got some vehicle storage down there 
Okay, we're gonna come around the side. I already showed you the shop and stuff. What? Yeah, that's the car dealership. Okay, we'll come around to here. Now, there is your dairy. Now, how? if you're not familiar with the milk system in this game, your milk will automatically be sold at midnight, but he also includes a mod, which will be in your placeable section, that you can put down a buy, a buy point and a, or sorry, a filling site and a selling point. Now, you'd probably want to take your selling point and put it here since it is a dairy. Look, they take pallets of stuff too, so you won't really have to deal with this if you want to if you want to just let it go the way it normally works but if you want to deliver your milk yourself there's the dairy okay we get another customer over here very cool some more vehicle storage again now here is another placeable parking lot it's all fenced in you can put your placeables down there what's over here in the corner oh there's another one there jeez i never even seen that Another small one. Okay. So we're coming up on the potato zone now. Now this is a little different from the Ringwoods map. These machines have been upgraded to add a spout so you can pour it right into a tipper. You no longer have to scoop it in. So here is your washer and here is your steamer. That steams potatoes so you can make pig forage. Which is worth a lot of money. We have some more storage here. And I see that you can sell some eggs over here too. I just want to take a quick look at that. Yeah, right down there at the dairy. You can sell eggs there. Oh, cool. Okay, onward. Here's the bio burner. Now you can sell wood chips and straw here, guys. You can't sell hay or grass, but you can sell straw and wood chips. Oh, here's a nice spot to cut grass for sure. Another windmill up there, or a turbine, I should say. Just want to put it on this in case I miss anything. All kinds of fields. So you'll notice from the map, you own 17 over here, which I'm going towards right now. You also have 15 down the very bottom. And you own field 1 and 3 on the far left side in the middle. So you have four fields to start off with. Very cool. Okay, we're coming up on animal fattening. Now here's your animal fattening zone. Here's your fattened chickens. These doors you'll have to open yourself by pressing O. Here is your egg packing plant. What you do is deliver eggs here. And this lady out here will put them in boxes and put them on pallets for it to be sold. In all those pallet zones I was showing you where you sell stuff. So, there's not too much in this little corner. There's some uh, refill tanks. They're all color coordinated. Very nice. We have another vehicle spot here where you can repair your damaged, your damaged vehicles. We have another place to sell straw and bales. What's this down here? This is the geese, I do believe. Yeah, here's your fat and geese inside here. You can hear them. Pretty cool. Oh, there's nothing I forgot there, was there? No. Now, here's the, your, the bulk of your animal fattening. We have pigs. We have a pig forage machine up there. We have beef cow and normal cow. We have a beet master up here that makes beet pulp. And we have sheep. And we have another grain silo for you to drop off your grain so you don't have to go all over God's creation to get back to the farm. So, like I said, everything's in English and it's all digital displayed. So, very nice. Some more animals or uh, vehicle storage down there. We have another forage making machine. All kinds of storage here for your grains. Now, I'm going to bring that back up. Where's my screen? There it is. Okay. So, yeah, we already seen that over there. So we're just going to come around the side here and visit the BGA. You have 15. This is all your grain to start off. You can get harvesting that right away. That is not yours. Not until you buy it. But you knew that already. Okay. Looks like we have another sawmill up here. Yep. 
there's your scorpion and your buffalo down below so these have the same type thing if pallets fill up and they bring them towards the end this won't be sold you'll have to move that with a lift to sell them and this one as well okay onward let's go visit the VGA geez there's all kinds of little things around oh manure sales is here I thought it was at the uh, I thought it was actually at the uh, garden center but it's here and these greenhouses are a little bit different from the ones I'm using on the Ringwoods map these only need two things to function as opposed to the four you need it before all these need to function is water and compost I'm pretty sure okay that disappeared on me oh my mouse is all over the place okay so yeah water and compost you can see it in the corner there to make your tomatoes to get up and running as opposed to the other map I'm using uh, you need seed water fertilizer and diesel fuel to get it going so this eases the pressure a little bit so that's nice you have your pumpkins and your cabbage and your lettuce and your cauliflower you've got some vehicle storage and places to sell your pallets to sell all them goods now I don't know yeah the lettuce ain't mar marked on the fields you get a little bit more if you sell it at different places so here's the BGA we've got a diesel refill down there we got four large silage bunkers we got some storage for some chaff and some silage down there now if you're not familiar with making silage you're gonna drop it in there that's where you sell it by dropping it in that grate and you get a byproduct from selling it which is slurry and this tank will slowly start filling up as you start selling that but you guys knew that anyway okay so I think that's about it you know we already seen that let's just take a little roam around here just to make sure look at that field guys and have all kinds of fun chopping this off that'll take a while you might want to get multiple harvesters going there so you own this field and you also own this field I do believe I'm just waiting for the number to pop up in the side yeah this is a pretty fairly big field too and then we're back where we started Let's come in for a landing and wrap this up so there you go guys this is the Sherwood Park Farm version 1.0 by Stevie the file size is 787 megabytes additional information will be down below as well as the links now there'll be three links one for the map I'm gonna leave the two links for Farmer Andy's mods, which will be the tanker pack and the animal transport. So be sure to download those two. So I hope you enjoyed that review, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.